Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety talk. Before we get started, make sure that you give me that thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to the channel down below here to ensure that you're notified of any new releases or new videos. Also make sure you share. If you find this information important, make sure you share with your coworkers and associates. And also feel free to comment. I encourage you to comment. If there's something about this that I need to change, or if there's a video you'd like to see me create for your team, um, put something in the comments and we'll see that we can't make it happen. Now, on with today's subject. Now, a lot of times we see it printed on t-shirts and we see it on hats that safety is an attitude. And that is correct. But I'd like to say that safety is more than an attitude. And I'd like to describe some of the things and I would like for you to walk along with me and just imagine uh, some of this stuff. In the bustling world of construction, where every clang of metal and whir of machinery echoes with the promise of progress, there exists a guiding principle that transcends mere protocol and procedure. It's a belief that safety is not just a set of rules, but an attitude, a way of life that shapes every aspect of the work. From the rookie laborer to the seasoned project manager, each person embodies this ethos, understanding that safety is not negotiable. It's a fundamental value that guides every decision in action. This mindset of safety as an attitude doesn't just stop at ensuring the physical well-being of the workforce. It extends to performance as well. It's about creating an environment where work is not just safe, but also timely and efficient. Imagine a construction site where every task is executed with precision and care where deadlines are met without compromise and safety, and where productivity thrives without sacrificing quality. At the heart of this mindset lies leadership. Managers and supervisors lead by example, demonstrating a commitment to safety that permeates every aspect of their leadership. They invest in training and education equipping their teams with knowledge and skills needed to identify hazards and mitigate risk. But more than that, they foster a culture of open communication and mutual respect, where every team member feels empowered to speak up and take action when needed. This culture of safety translates directly into performance. When workers feel safe and supported, they're able to focus their energy and attention on the task at hand, driving productivity and efficiency to new heights. They're more engaged, more motivated, and more committed to delivering high quality workmanship that exceeds expectations. And because safety is woven into the fabric of every action, there is no need to sacrifice speed for safety or efficiency for quality. But perhaps the most remarkable thing about this mindset is its ripple effect. As safety becomes ingrained in the DNA of the organization, it doesn't just benefit the workforce. It benefits everyone involved, from clients to subcontractors to the wider community. Projects are completed on time and within budget, earning the trust and confidence of clients while setting a standard of excellence for the industry as a whole. So, as we witness this transformation unfold before us, let us never forget the power of embracing the mindset that safety is not just an attitude. It is a cornerstone of performance that is safe, timely, and efficient. And as long as this belief guides our actions, there is no limit to what can be achieved in this dynamic world in which we live. All right, boys and girls. Now, <clears throat> if it, 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 there's a lot of companies out there that, that speak this stuff and they've got it written into their website and they've got it written into their EHS, but is it exercised by the leadership of that company? 
if you work for a company where they preach that type of thing, but you may not always feel that the leadership is involved, that doesn't mean that you're exempt. If you're a foreman, if you're a superintendent, it's, it's up to you to take that dynamic and put it into play on your job sites and make sure that you're accomplishing those things. And as you perform, you will outshine your competition who is less likely to take uh, safety as more than just an attitude. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up with that. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by. Make sure you give me that thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when there's new releases. And uh, please comment, make a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this or if there's another video that needs to be made. And uh, also share with your coworkers and associates so that they might be able to use this on their job site. And finally, you can use any of these videos. You can check the website. I have a bunch of videos out there for your safety meeting. The only thing that you need to do is to make sure that you have a sign-in sheet dating, dating it, showing what job you're on, showing where you got this information on Middle Class Bubba, and uh, have everybody sign in indicating that they watched the video. And that can be a part of the required continuing safety training that OSHA places on us or on your company. Anyway, that's it. We're going to call it a wrap. Once again, thanks for watching. And as always, have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next one. Let's see how that turns.